Hello, my name is David Bruner from uh, SciStream of uh, Cary, North Carolina. Uh, SciStream is one of uh, several body scanner, body scanning, body processing companies participating in this initiative. And uh, a little bit of background on us. Uh, we're a relatively new company, uh, but about half of our staff has been involved in developing body scanners for over uh, 20 years. Um, uh, we were established in 2012 as a wholly owned uh, subsidiary of the Tau Group. Um, we're, uh, it's a fledgling market, uh, but we've been one of the retail market leaders for booth body scanners. Uh, 250 systems, we hope to do 250 deployments in 2017. Uh, so we're wholly owned by the Tau Group, and uh, we have a, a special interest in mass customization as well as the Tau Group is one of the leading apparel manufacturers, uh, making about one out of six men's shirts sold in the United States and uh, thousands of custom men's shirts per day. So just, just a, a little bit of outline of some of our, our customers, uniform companies, athletic companies requiring a specialized fit. We allow our systems to be rebranded, uh, so some of the names in the market like Import in Australia down below, our SciStream scanners, um, Alton Lane with a mobile unit there. Even uh, we, we even have a scanner at every Disney park in the world for scanning all of their employees, uh, so for, for measuring and tracking them for their uh, costumes. So uh, what do we work on and why was a question uh, to answer and we're we exist to solve the problem of human body digitization and measurement for any kind of product or service application. Even though apparel is, is a key focus, you'll see shortly it's, it's not the only focus. But there's just a lot of drivers for the need of accurate human body data. And the way it's taken traditionally in the apparel industry today is very dependent on an individual who's doing the measurement. And our machines uh, democratize that process and make it consistent. Uh, but at the low end, we also have free body measurement apps to be rolled out this spring that operate just on your phone that provide better than self-taken measurements at home and result not only in body measurements, uh, but also a 3D body model that you might use for virtual fashion simulations. So some of the detailed application areas we work in, apparel is a, a, about 60% of our business, but whether it's size selection or made to measure or virtual fashion, there's a wide range of application even within the apparel segment. Uh, fitness is our number two area. People want to track their, their body for their progress, whether they're trying to lose weight or they're trying to enhance their fitness. Uh, medical applications, there's a crossover between medical and apparel where one of our biggest customers actually sizes compression hosiery for, uh, for uh, medical diabetic patients in Europe. Uh, and we're moving into 3D, the pre 3D printing area, which you may have seen some of this if you were at CES, where uh, because our booths are very low cost retail units, uh, where you can be scanned and make a 3D photo. And we uh, have uh, some technical applications at corporate research centers at apparel, and also for use for uh, sizing surveys, uh, private or or uh, national s surveys. These are just examples of how our body scanning booths are used today. Here's a, an illustration of the most recent body scanner. We, we uh, demonstrated this unit. It's based on Intel RealSense technology at the uh, annual 3D body scanning conference last November. Uh, it uh, has a self-scanning mode. It's, on, it's very small. It's 1.1 by 1.4 meters. Um, and it, this is the uh, fitness club aesthetic of the booth. And it scans your entire body. Uh, in one fifth of one second, and uh, it has uh, HD color quality, and it, uh, it's very easy and convenient to use. This is the kind of data that comes from a system like that. Uh, although in many applications there's no data that's visualized, it's just processed for use at the end. So there's uh, color raw 3D data. Uh, our core IP is taking that data, producing a refined watertight mesh, and automatically measuring over 460 measurements. And then we also create statistical models uh, from that data as well. 
the total processing time from that one fifth of a second scan to, to, to have all of these results is just about 30 seconds. Here's an illustration of some of the measures that can be taken for, in the US today, there's very little uh, standardization between companies for made to measure apparel. So we have to accommodate almost each company individually today. And that drives a high degree of need of flexibility in how the measurements can be customized for each of our customers. We also have manual measure tools in the software as well. Uh, this is a, another illustration of our body scanner and uh, the, the one that's currently in volume production in the market. Uh, this one has a six second scan time, a plus or minus five millimeter accuracy on circumferences. Um, and it, for retail scanning, it's key when you're not in the fitness club environment, it's got to be a complete uh, private and automated scan process. We connect to these things over the internet uh, to provide uh, remote support uh, a high degree of uptime. Our new uh, low-end products uh, are app-based entirely and, and uh, based on statistics from a few measurements, height, weight, gender, and some body shape questions that you answer. And um, those will be coming out shortly here this spring. There's a total link between our body scanner and this fitness app so that if you happen to be in the presence of one of our body scanners, you can bring over the highly accurate data using a QR code transfer into the, by taking a picture of the screen from the app. Our new initiatives uh, this year are, uh, today our systems are standalone and we're uh, establishing a cloud data processing and storage alternative for a network of body scanners that we're going to roll out. Um, we have new app and cloud uh, products and services uh, and uh, anticipate with this new deployment alternative primarily in fitness clubs and some apparel venues to be at over 500 units worldwide at the end of 2017. Uh, internally, uh, we're working on a frictionless integration of our data coming from our system with our parent company's made-to-measure apparel offering so that uh, if you get our system, you can have access to their uh, custom suits and shirts uh, directly. But we're also implementing that, uh, working with several women's apparel manufacturers so that uh, the second half of this year, we'll have both men's and women's uh, made-to-measure apparel offered on our uh, scanning offerings. So we view success in a uh, three to five year time frame as uh, thousands of body scanner installations and millions of scan subjects and app users. Uh, for us, we can't do everything. We're not doing nearly everything on the software side uh, and standardization brings the opportunity to enable other technology offerings, virtual fashion, etc., to bring additional value to, to our products as well. Thank you very much. <laughs>